So we're in Moab, we're heading over to the Poison Spider Trailhead. We've started this trail three times and never had time to finish it because we don't plan well. So hopefully today we can finally for the first time get this one finished. Um, we're with just me, Amelia, and my parents. So excited to kick this off. This has gotten so much more dug out. I swear every year it's worse. People just come rally up this. Good on that side. It's a nice little gatekeeper though. Maybe for me. So I came up that same obstacle in my last Jeep, which wasn't the Extreme Recon, and it was stock, so it was on 33s, and I cannot believe we were able to get over that on 33s. Granted, like I said, it's more dug out now, but jeez. So the beginning of this trail is like a little V notch we're about to go over, and it's not like a super, difficult notch to get down but this was the first thing I ever drove over back when I was in high school we came down here with my dad's f-150 with him with his permission and ran part of this trail which in respect was amazing we did this in an f-150 um, we did, ran over this little notch it was a ton of fun and that's what got me hooked Do you guys mind if we pass you guys? We just have two. That's fine. Thank you. obstacle isn't hard but it's one of my least favorite on this trail uh, just because you're so off camera on the edge of like sliding I see vehicles kind of almost slide Not even a problem, it just feels like you're gonna roll and die.
The Wedgie, huh? That's what this I is like called. that name. You want me to record it? Absolutely. Perfect. That means I can get out. <laughs> Watch his other tire here. Shaking your head? I don't like it. What do you think? You gotta keep your tire on there. Should I do it? Yes! Right, right up that Yeah, same thing, not hard, you're just very sketchy on that slide. Yeah, you just gotta have that wheel right at the perfect spot. You gonna run it? So we're in kind of this long extended section where it's not smooth, but it's pretty easy. There's nothing entertaining. It's just a lot of bumps. It kind of keeps you rocking, keeps you all clenched up, but there's not actually anything that's fun. And it just makes you go really slow. So love this section of the trail. The rest of it's been pretty good, but this section is not my favorite. section on an area called High Speed Mesa, which looks like a mile or two of smooth-ish trail, so we can hopefully kind of power through a little bit of this pretty quickly. So one of the things I wanted to do with this trip is, I thought about putting a lift and tires on the Jeep before we did our first trip, and I decided I wanted to take it on one trip, uh, basically completely stock. Well, actually, no, just completely stock. Um, I said it before, we ran this trail in my last Jeep on, it was Rubicon on 33s. Uh, it was a JLU. And we didn't finish just because of time, but it was a real struggle. We were really like slowly moving through this trail. Um, with the Extreme Recon Edition, that's the 35s and like a small lift, it has been, I don't think you need anything more to run this trail. Like this Jeep is everything you would need to run this trail. Uh, the only exception is the gatekeeper obstacle at the beginning. 
the harder lines on it, you would need, I don't think we could do, but I've also seen Jeeps on 40s get hung up on those harder lines. So I don't know if that's super relevant, but for the rest of this trail, the shape recondition stock is, it's easy to hit all this. You know, obviously take, don't overdo it and just send it, but as long as you're being careful and being smart and you know what you're doing, there's nothing really to worry about with how this Jeep comes stock. Ooh, this looks fun. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we don't have a gladiator. Ooh. So we're at the split off for Golden Spike and Poison Spider. So Golden Spike is that way. Poison Spider Loop is, looks like about a 10th of a mile this way. So we've reached the loop and the sign doesn't actually say which way you're supposed to go around it. I kind of assumed they would have that marked. So we may or may not be running this backwards. I guess we'll find out at some point. about this is we'd come up about this far before and once you get to the loop there's actually not that many significant obstacles after that so most of the obstacles we'd already done before actually it's still nice to complete the full thing officially No, I really like this trail though. It's uh, the first, while you're getting the loop, it's a fun, a lot of obstacles. And you have that really rough, slow, bumpy section, which I think is one of my least favorite 
sections of off-road I've ever done. And the loop's nice and scenic, uh, a lot of fun. There's the arch, um, some cool stuff. So it was a lot of fun. I will definitely be doing this one again. Hopefully with a lifted Jeep with much bigger tires. Feels bad. they just went down this and took completely the wrong line way too far to the right and <laughs> ended up uh, getting high centered and having to like rock to get their Jeep to come down and like scraped everything as they went down it. So I'm gonna try not repeat that same line. Let's see how it goes. Well, I know I'm not gonna repeat that same line because I saw where they went and I'm just not gonna do that. Anyway, this is a tricky little drop. six feet to the right of where I am. No problem. A little bit of scraping, but that's what Jeeps are for. You just scrape them up. So I'm confused. Where did you run into problems? That was easy. This is basically, well, no, this is the last significant obstacle. Um, so we're gonna give this one a run and then do a little outro. This is our second time trying to record a YouTube video. Our first time doing it for an off-road trip. The other one was a camping video. So this may be a little rough. Uh, we're gonna work on it and get better. We're just trying to figure out. Uh, we've done a lot of TikTok stuff and that's worked out really well, but trying to figure out how to tell the longer story, how to get more angles, more in-between content besides just the highlights for TikTok. Kind of trying to figure it all out still. So thank you for watching this. If you're still around, uh, we appreciate you subscribing and seeing what you continue to do. Um, 
we'll have another video from this trip and then after that we'll hopefully on the video after that have a lift of tires on this and make it a little more of a fun rig although honestly for level six trails i don't think this needs anything else uh, it's been really fantastic i've been very impressed by what it can do stock so anyways uh kind of rambling at this point but thank you so much for watching and yeah subscribe please